so I'll give you an example, a specific example. The basic healthcare provision fund, which channels resources to 8,800 primary healthcare centers. Uh, these centers are at state level and in the realm of the local government, but they are managed through a ministerial oversight committee. When we came in, we assessed, uh, we audited, we look at the Auditor General's report, we saw the deficits in many states, we engage the Economic Council, the state governors, we engage the commissioners, and they had action plans to respond to the weaknesses in their fiduciary systems. And when we disbursed for the first quarter of 2024, we called, we did it in public, and we called EFCC, ICPC to keep an eye, and we provided a hotline, an email, so the Nigerians in the front ends uh, report if there are adverse uh, or diversions of those funds. Uh, that is so that all, everyone is kept honest in terms of the use of those public resources for health. At the end of the day, uh, the resources have to reach the population. And if there is collusion in the front end, if a health worker manning a primary health care center takes some of the money and gives it to the senior level official, that is something that it's Nigerians that will have to report that. So we made that publicly available, and as we move forward, we're going to have the quarterly reports uh, that we had signed in a compact with the state governors, uh, the strategic compact that was signed on December 12, 2023, during the unveiling of the health sector renewal investment initiative by the president, so that we are constantly tracking and trying to improve in terms of the accountability measures and the answerability for all actors in terms of the resources that they are using. But Nigerians themselves have a role to play, uh, to track those resources in the domains, in the local governments, in the primary health care centers. And if there's a diversion to basically uh, alert uh, the relevant authorities to investigate allegations and be able to uh, deal with them. Mm. Dealing with these issues are uh, a continuous effort uh, it requires strengthening our institutions, which we are doing in government, but it also requires behavior change from Nigerians to realize that they are, if we all lose if we allow a uh, uh, few individuals to divert what is meant for providing basic health services in primary health care centers. That's just one example of what this administration is trying to do uh, to sanitize the health system.